to another episode of Black and Blue. Yes, and today's episode is um, worth it? it? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Big question mark. Worth it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have, like I know we have, you know, woken up and we're going going into the day, getting ready for the day, and we're mm -hmm. like, is anything I'm going to be doing worth it? Mm -hmm. Even Marty Luther's morning prayer has this kind of thinking just that yeah when uh, we pray that all our doings and life would please him mm -hmm. the father yes and yeah. uh, and so uh, you know going into the day is it worth it mm -hmm. is my work actually pleasing the father mm -hmm. is I he mean, happy with what i'm doing uh-huh we go through the whole day and uh then at the end of the day after it's probably sometimes feel like a roller coaster or yeah. just kind of a crazy chaotic day. You're getting ready to go to bed and you pray Luther's evening prayer where you ask God to forgive you um, yeah. all of your sins, all, forgive you for all of the, the failures and flops and mistakes of, of the day. I mean, as you're thinking back on the day, the day might look kind of like scorched earth, Rubble uh, everywhere. Exactly. Like, you know, just uh, is an earthquake just occurred and, uh -huh. you know, just, there's just, you know, just collapsed buildings everywhere. Yep. Torn trees. It just doesn't and, and, look good. And so you pray for forgiveness, right? Yes. And you have a good conscience because you know your mm -hmm. sin is covered by the Good mm -hmm. Friday blood of Jesus mm -hmm. and that, you know, he lived that perfect life that we could never live. He died that God forsaken mm -hmm. death we deserve to die. Yeah. And he said, it is finished. And he applies mm -hmm. that it is finished work. Uh, of his cross to you and to me, mm -hmm. but but still we have that question: Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Did I do yeah. anything that God is happy with? <laughs> is He pleased with anything that I did? Yes, throughout the exactly. day, exactly. And that's where we have this beautiful gift in the in the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Yes, you heard us correct, friends. Uh -huh. The gift of the Ten Commandments. Ten, yes, yes, the gift of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> yes. We often just see the Ten Commandments negatively mm -hmm. uh, as basically, you know, that CT scan that mm -hmm. uh, shows our sin, mm -hmm. right? That, uh, that uh, you know, tool that uh, tells us that we test positive for sin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, but there is a positive way to see the Ten Commandments. Yeah. It's really kind of a, a metal detector mm -hmm. that you can... Go through that that scorched earth of uh, rubble. The, the rubble of the the day and kind of get to go over and go. Oh, look! <laughs> There's a good work. Here's something that was pleasing to the father. <laughs> you're, he's, you're tickled, hired. he's tickled pink with me. <laughs> you're hired as the sound effects guy. Uh, oh, so, well, uh, actually, I'm not, well, I do I do make a lot of beeping noises. So. Yes, you do. I even for my birthday uh, the the. Uh, um, our office administrator here, uh, he uh, he got me my present in a bag with uh, with a robot on it. Mm -hmm. my beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I am silly. I'm silly. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. So that metal detector goes off as we go through each of the commandments. Yeah. And so what and, about and, that? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we use the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. as a metal detector mm -hmm. to actually see where uh, we actually did works. Uh, that were pleasing to the Father. That makes him smile. And, and so then we get to go tickle? to sleep, not just with sins forgiven, but also with a smile, knowing mm -hmm. that we actually did some pleasing stuff. What we did Worth was worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through the Ten Commandments briefly and just, and just mm -hmm. and, and give you a, a flavor for how you can use the Ten Commandments positively as this metal detector to, uh, you know, go through the day and see, oh, I did pleasing work today Yes, for my Father in Heaven. So First Commandment. Mm -hmm. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall have no other gods before my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's where you can look at, oh, I was in church this past uh, week. And so my week began with being before my father in heaven, being in his presence. And then, you know, what happens at the end of the service of the divine service? It ends with pastor saying in the stead of Christ that, God's face is shining upon us. That His face is beaming on us. Yeah. So that's a beautiful way of, of remembering the first commandment. Yeah, that we actually worship uh, before the face of, of the Father mm -hmm. in his presence. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He's not the distant God, but the 
ever so near God. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel, God with us. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Second commandment. Mm -hmm. Okay. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Well, I prayed this morning and I'm praying tonight. You know, calling upon God's name, the name given me at my baptism, um, calling upon him to help me in my task today and, uh, and my friends and neighbors and family members um, in their tasks as well. Yeah, so that's pleasing in our in our Lord's sight. Yeah, using using that throne of grace, that access, right? That uh, all access to the Father mm -hmm. to uh, go to bat, not just for yourself, but but for mm -hmm. everyone around you, right? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, mm -hmm. totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, really, praying is the greatest love that we can show someone. Mm -hmm. Praying for them, yes. really, because you are enlisting the help of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. uh, I. I don't think there's a greater helper. <laughs> right? His solutions are perfect. His timing is perfect. Yeah. He has the the yeah. right solution because uh, you and I, we, we really don't always have the right answers I don't know things. what's going on <laughs> half the time. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> um, so the third commandment, uh, mm -hmm. remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Yeah. Having your, your day um, anchored by, by meditating on our Lord's word. Maybe it's even just... A Bible verse, um, but having our Lord give us his rest through his word and giving us his Holy Spirit um, yeah, through his word. Yes. What a gift. I mean, what, I think like what the greatest gift maybe we mm -hmm. receive in meditation, the Holy Spirit, yes. the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then whatever is going on in the text, that is what's happening to us. That is mm -hmm. the gift that God is giving to us. Yes. Right. So the mm -hmm. healing of blind Bart that, uh, you know, uh, we have a uh, God at, who, who touches our eyes mm -hmm. so that we can see clearly. Yes. And, uh, you know, I think of just, uh, just yeah, everything that's happening in the gospel readings, when you're meditating mm -hmm. on, you know, the cleansing of lepers, we're cleansed mm -hmm. of our leprosy of sin. Yes. You know, so you're receiving the very gifts that those people were receiving from Jesus 2,000 years ago. You're receiving those very gifts in the present Woo. with your meditation. Yes. That's awesome. Oh, what a gift. Yeah. What a gift. And then... Oh, um, fourth commandment? Yeah. We're going to keep this uh, Ten Commandment train Chugging turning along. along. Full steam ahead. <laughs> doo, doo. Yeah, this sound effects episode. Uh-huh. Okay. Woo. So honor thy father and thy mother. Mm -hmm. The favorite commandment for all of us, right? <laughs> the favorite, right? Well, I mean, think about if you're going to school, listening to your mm -hmm. teachers, doing the work that they, they ask you to do and doing it cheerfully. That's honoring um, your teachers or your parents listening to them when they ask you to do something um, and praying for them. That's a huge one. Praying yeah. for your parents and your teachers that, yeah. um, you know, that they would, would be blessed and filled with our Lord's Holy Spirit. Um, that's the best way you can honor and love them is by praying for them. All of those are, are uh, good works pleasing to our Father in Heaven. They make the metal detector go off. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Fifth commandment, you shall not murder. Mm -hmm. Murder. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, but okay. But if you haven't murdered anyone, how how is a positive way with this? How about on if you're in sports, um, being a good sportsman. Um, you know. Yeah, show, show that good sportsmanship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not, not, not. <laughs> Not throwing, you know, elbows and trying to bloody someone's face. <laughs> Trip someone up with yeah. cross country running. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cross. I was. I, I, I'm still a runner. I love running. Uh, we'll go running. Uh, I think. I think I'm gonna go on a ten mile run after this. But anyway, so uh, yeah, cross country could get, get pretty violent. Yeah. What kids would do? Yeah. They would hawk lukies, and I mean, just, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. Oh man, go around a one of the flags and you know pull it down and let it fly. And, no, it, it got pretty pretty violent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm But don't do that. Yes, don't do that. But see, there there is an arena where you can care for your your neighbor's body and your own body um, yeah. in, in being a good sportsman. Um, yeah, because all of those are gifts. Caring for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fifth commandment. Well, yeah, promoting, preserving uh, life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sixth commandment. You shall not commit adultery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, ultimately, this commandment is dealing with hearts and eyes mm -hmm. and especially seeing everyone around us not as yeah. objects, 
Um, but as precious people, precious uh, boys and girls, men and women, for whom our Lord Jesus bled and died and rose again. So um, every looking at everyone is a gift. That's so it. it flows right out of the fifth commandment, really. It really does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Seventh commandment. Mm-hmm. You shall not steal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is a big one, too. I mean, uh, especially as a, as a student, not... Um, when your parents or your teachers ask you, ask you to do something, do it. Um, and so then you're <laughs> not... it, just do it. Exactly. You know, so that you're not wasting um, your teacher's time, your parents' time. Because really, that's that's a big thing with the, the seventh commandment. Not wasting um, other people's time, um, stealing time from them. Uh, yeah. by by being on your phone or, or anything like that. But yeah. instead, you have the opportunity to do what they ask and bring great joy mm-hmm. to their lives. Um, that's with all of these commandments, yeah. right? It's an opportunity to give joy to someone. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, the gifts to give. Yes. Tons mm-hmm. of gifts. Tons mm-hmm. of gifts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's a way to actually uh, uh, be used by God to be a conduit of his blessing, a channel yeah. for all of his blessings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a blessing detector. Yeah. How was I a blessing today? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, we're so blessed by God, and now we can go and be a blessing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Eighth commandment? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you shall not bear false testimony against your neighbor. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I mean, the eighth commandment really is dealing with your neighbor's yeah. name. And you know, one of the coolest ways that we can use our neighbor's name is, is honestly going, when we see them doing something really amazing or cool is is to tell others about it yeah. hey did you see what so-and-so did on the court or in yeah. school um you know and also tell the person yes too. also yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> don't tell everyone uh, except the person yes i mean you know let the person know it that was pretty awesome it's a both and definitely not an either or <laughs> yep exactly so it's an opportunity to to share encouragement and praise yeah build up that person mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And, and you know help that person have a good reputation mm-hmm. i mean a good reputation uh opens doors yeah. you know it's when people have bad reputations that are often not always because of like their fault, just people mm-hmm. gossip and say things that are, are not true. Mm-hmm. It closes doors for that person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So with your words, you get to open doors for people. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. It really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You get to be a blessing that way. You know, <laughs> prettying up that person's name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Indeed. Uh, so ninth commandment and 10th commandment. Is that where mm-hmm. we're at now? Okay. Yes, I, I can, I'm not good with numbers. I, that's why I'm a pastor. Uh-huh. <laughs> we're just a 10. Yeah. Yeah. I get a two plus two, right? Uh-huh. Exactly. That equals five. Uh, four. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, you shall not covet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And so, I mean, that's getting to look at everything that we have as, as being gifts from our Lord and, and all the things that our neighbor has, um, yeah. what house, car, um, you know, you name it, Nintendo, I guess. I don't know. PlayStation. Um, PlayStation. Yeah, I mean, you're such an avid gamer. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, she is not. I have no idea what the models are. I don't even know where we are with PS, uh, is it five? I don't even uh-huh. know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you fill in the blank, um, but, but looking at everything that our neighbor has in that we also have as they're all gifts from our father and we're content heaven. and we're content. Yeah. Because the yeah. gifts he gives the neighbor uh, are tailored for that neighbor mm-hmm. and the gifts God gives me tailored for me. Mm-hmm. And so uh, to recognize that, okay, God is caring for me in the way that Aaron needs to be cared for. Mm-hmm. And God is caring for deaconess in the way that deaconess needs, need, needs to be cared for mm-hmm. and yeah. seeing the gifts that everyone has as given by God Specifically for for that purpose, mm-hmm. for, for for that person, mm-hmm. and uh, and really just giving thanks to God, yeah, for how He's caring for all of us in the way that we need. Mm-hmm. Uh, it may not be the way we want, right? But it's the it's way true. we need. He, exactly. he knows us better than anyone. Mm-hmm. He doesn't confuse us yeah. with someone else. <laughs> and, and so it's just, you know, just looking back and say, "Wow, you know, I'm content with just what God has given to me." Mm-hmm. And I have a good God. He is awesome with yes. just that. You know, he's an in, inexhaustible fountain of goodies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not stingy at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, look how he's lavishing me with like you know clothes and a house, mm-hmm. friends, mm-hmm. I'm an awesome deaconess. 
uh, you know, 303 Ruth Street, our church. I mean, mm-hmm. really, just so many, so many blessings there. Yes. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I'm not, I'm not worthy of any of this. But man, mm-hmm. he's like, no, I want to give you gifts. And I'm going to flood you with gifts. And he mm-hmm. does. He does. And, and you too. Mm-hmm. And deepens. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that ninth, the ninth and 10th commandments really help us uh, mm-hmm. see how much our lives have been littered, yeah. littered by our Father in heaven <laughs> with so many blessings, um, so many good, good gifts. Yeah. So when you come to the end of the day and you look mm-hmm. back, and you think, wow, my life was just today, just not really worth it. I, mm-hmm. I think, man, I really just, it's, it's all rubble. It's, mm-hmm. it's just all scorched earth. Mm-hmm. We can take the Ten Commandments, this like metal detector and, mm-hmm. and go over the day with it and, and actually, mm-hmm. you know, actually see many, uh, you know, good works Mm -hmm. that were done by faith and that are pleasing to the father. Mm -hmm. And we not only go to sleep with sins forgiven, Mm -hmm. but also knowing that, yeah, my father is tickled pink Mm -hmm. with me. So delighted in me. He's doting over me. He is so just excited and smiling from Mm -hmm. ear to ear because of Mm -hmm. all that uh, I did by faith. Mm -hmm. Um, And so was it worth it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, those good works that are pleasing to the father Mm -hmm. uh, that are in accord with the 10 commandments, they're going to last forever. They're going to follow mm-hmm. us into the new heavens and new earth. And as we've talked about before, be the building blocks of the new creation. Mm-hmm. And uh, it'll be wonderful to, to see how God uses all of these good works uh, for for the raw material of the Garden of Eden 2.0. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and so Luther knows this because actually mm-hmm. with the morning prayer, mm-hmm. where we pray that all our uh, life and doings would be pleasing to him, mm-hmm. Uh, Luther ends uh, the morning prayer, actually the morning devotion, uh, mm-hmm. saying, uh, you know, go into the day singing a hymn like that of uh, the Holy Ten Commands. Mm-hmm. Because Luther knows this is how we know the works that are pleasing, that are worth it, mm-hmm. uh, you know, to the Father. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Beautiful. We, so we get to live a worth it life. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah. Under the smile of our Father in heaven and with Jesus, our big brother, encouraging us on. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit encouraging us on. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So our prayer is that, you know, you see the Ten Commandments actually as a, as a positive, uh, not, not, not just as a negative thing, showing us our sin. It does mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. But also as a, a positive tool to identify, you know, those parts of the day that, wow, yeah, you were doing some yeah. pleasing work for the Father. And mm-hmm. it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Totally mm-hmm. worth it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Beautiful. Woo-hoo. So by his stripes, we are healed. Yep. Until next time, my friends. Yes. Until next time. Doodles. <laughs>